Hello everybody, welcome back to Excalibur's Vanilla Adventures. It is I, Excalibur, and um, I am just taking a look at the layout of what is going to be the interior of the first floor. Um, and uh, I put some stairs up there because I wanted to see what it would look like and how far I could go back. I think I know what I'm going to do up there. Anyway, um, what we're going to be doing today is probably doing a quick layout. Um, I want to see how many blocks I want interior rooms to be. And if I want to have multiple rooms that go all the way around with interior going out to this atrium area or not. And let's hear one, two, three, four, five, six. Like is that a five? Let's 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 see about doing it this way. So what I was thinking is this whole interior archway we can now make it so that it's uh we have it here and then we expand it just a little bit more so in this case we're gonna pop these stairs off and make us some more Ooh, brick stairs that's what we need brick stairs do we have any in here I think I grabbed them all yeah so let's go ahead and make a make a bunch here there we go 40 should be more than enough so what I'm thinking is popping this back like that and uh, get rid of these guys as well and this is going to be the interior of our um, sorry about that glooch it looks like somebody's trying to contact me on Facebook anyway um, so we pop this back and now we will have an archway that we can turn into a nice hall and we're not going to use just one color we're probably going to uh, do something like this like every um, let's see here maybe every four we'll have a white Oop, there we go and that's right here so we'll have it something like this and maybe even I wish we had slabs and vertical slabs, but that's one of the luxuries we do not have with vanilla, vanilla Minecraft here. So I think doing something like that, a little bit of a design, let me just get around here, will be pretty, pretty awesome. So we go one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And then we have uh, these guys here. And what we can do then, we'll just put a torch right here for now. And eat. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, like this. and then two white a little bit of a an interesting like design or whatnot I know it looks like a cross but I'm mainly just trying to make the architecture style a little bit more interesting and then we need to have our stairs and they will fall flow 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 not follow flow I can't speak this morning I'm sorry uh, really late night and I just woke up for the most part so I've got the torch there but what we're gonna do 
is right now we'll use pumpkins, but we're going to have like a redstone lamp, maybe, or a glue stone, if, if that suits us better. And we'll just come straight across like a so. On the top, just like this. Get rid of that right there. There we go. <clears throat> I was thinking about running out and uh, doing some exploration today. Um, see if we can find some sort of, I don't know, maybe a desert, not desert, a uh, jungle, and uh, get ourselves some jungle wood, maybe get ourselves some acacia. What am I looking for? I'm looking for jack lanterns, which I had right here. There we go. do this just like so throw down a piece of dirt yeah. oh, right there actually throw our pumpkin down here come up on the other side we need the dirt here jack liner there and then we just do do and get rid of that and uh, there we go <clears throat> so that is how it turn out I think redstone lamp would be best there and we could even do this and this huh no I don't want to do that um I was thinking yeah, I'll just show you I was thinking about doing this but then it cuts off the light and the plus and all that and it's too much brick if you ask me so we'll just do that get rid of everything bring that andesite back down and put those two blocks in it also saves a few blocks now up here I think what we can do I don't want the arrows down there I wanted these slabs is run a series of slab like this There we go, and do the same all the way down. There we go. A little bit more of a nice, high, archy feel. In a way, I think this is a little bit too steep, but it actually does follow this. We have a stair. And then we've got a, oh, a block, a block. So, anywho, let's continue this all the way down. And what we can do here is we can actually break up that blockiness every once in a while by throwing in a stair or something. So we could go like this. Oh, poo. And, uh, throw up one of these guys like that it's not much but it is an architectural difference that gives us an idea of uh, you know it's not a flat like uh, the rest of this stuff so I'm going to do that here now that's a uh, one two three so every three will do that There we go. Now I could widen it up a little bit, but I think that's good. One, two, three. What a coincidence. We can just go ahead and do this right there, just like so. And throw in yet another stair there and right there. Whoop, closer. There we go. So now we're going to have a nice high ceiling. And uh, this right here it's going to be a nice a nice little architectural detail I think and this seems you know 
this has got what four hmm maybe instead of putting it there we put it right here and then we'll put that one big block back there we go and then right here we'll put the other one just like this so it's not it's gonna be more symmetrical that's the thing I'm looking for and symmetrical how well you, you should have saw that um, well want that we want this and then we want this right there and of course it goes sideways like that there we go and then we can throw that there and that there and make sure I get all the steps because these steps are very very precious to me all right so why did we do it this way well we did it this way because now it's gonna be symmetrical it's gonna be in line with the beginning and end of each of these it's not gonna feel like it's staggered or off or not following a pattern or anything uh, some people would say don't worry about it and I'm gonna say I'm going to worry about it because that's how I roll now I like this red line here we're gonna continue that right up inside here by following along with this red block and I'm going to make it go up and around and there's a door yeah I'll just go ahead and get this set up here just like so there we go there we go work it work it Oh yeah, whereas my four-year-old son would say, "Oh yeah, baby." Uh, we don't know why he started saying that, but it has been hilarity listening to him get all excited and going, "Oh yeah, baby." <laughs> four-year-old kids are awesome, especially my four-year-old kid. All right, now let's put that door back wrong side do 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 all right and we're gonna do the same thing here just like so Okay, that's not too bad. We can pop that out there. Pop this. Since it needs to be popped, right? Right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to continue the pattern. Uh, there we are. Use some cobblestone. then get some sleep now there we are I think that would be that's a, that's a very nice look and I want to stay away from the the gray 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 all the time that's why we're putting the white here and we're getting this lovely um, granite put down as a detail now the color of the floor I don't know what we can do with that maybe we can do some wood because using stone 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 all the time is getting to be uh, but ugly so I'm gonna think on that and this is where having uh, ah, stairs of the polished granite and andesite and everything would be wonderful because we could just bring this and turn that into stairs as well 
I wonder if there's a way we can do um whatchamacallit I'm trying to think here my brain is freezing up on me like you wouldn't believe um excuse me if we could do a resource pack to uh give stairs of that color and stuff like that with different textures that would be nice because then there we could set it up so that we have our own models not models but oh, let's get this door put in here um, our own uh, textures for any game item we want and it would be fully supported by the game so very simply we could do dirt stairs we can do any kind of stair we wanted so let's see here what I want to do is we're gonna go with a three and then we'll repeat the pattern so it's gonna go one two one two three one two Nope, right there. Let's get this guy up in here. Like that. Because we can do this. And then it's just a matter of repeating this until we get to the dirt block. Oh, look at that. We are already there. So it's very easy to take care of this. One, two, so we only needed this pattern twice. And I put three here because this is where we're gonna have a doorway into a hall. And this is where the exterior meets the interior so let's go ahead and make sure we move that there one two three four five six seven I think eight there we are let's get the rest of this up yeah so we go one skip boom two Three right there is where it is. Boom. Four. Dirt. Jack o' lantern. go get this all going up and this is quite literally the fanciest I've ever made anything really I mean I've tried to make things fancy oops um, but it's never turned out that good that well that nice and of course I put them all in the wrong places because I am a doofus there we go there's that and let's reclaim this andesite stuff yeah I mean we could use andesite all the way across um, and this is going to be a nice thick wall, I can tell you that much. But this is a really good look. Let's let's check our light levels here. We are currently at 10. Oh yeah, we're going to need more lighting than this. Because uh, <laughs> this is going to create spawnable areas big time. So why don't we just go ahead and rip up this center here we're gonna have to reclaim that because 
cobblestone is somewhat necessary and pretty soon we are going to hit this yeah uh -huh. so down we go get our sword ready because we don't know if there's any creepers or anything really in here there we go Oh boy, what I wouldn't give for real architectural lessons and stuff like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and yeah, put dirt all the way across here. Dirt is one of the more abundant resources in the game. Cobblestone is probably water than cobblestone. I think that's the way it should go. Yeah. All right. Now let's see here. Can can we place these guys down? Yeah, we can. All right. So let's go ahead and get our axe, and we're gonna check light levels. And whenever it hits a six, we're gonna throw one of these guys down. So where are we now? We are at nine. So right here is at a six. Um, you can see it right here. We're now at 14. Um, what we're doing is we are making sure that we are reducing. Oh, there we go. All right here's a six. Reducing spawn rates here. So now if we come down here, we should see that our blocks are pretty much seven or higher we we actually want to have it eight so instead let's go ahead and make these a little bit closer we'll make it every five so that's one two three four five should one two three four five five blocks between that is one two three four five six one two three four five six One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. All right, now let's take a look at this. We have nine. We should not drop below ten or eleven or nine all the way down until we get outside, and that is a wonderful light level. And uh, of course, we can replace these with redstone or whatever um, redstone lamps if we want to, and Let's see. If we put diorite down the middle, we should have more than enough diorite here. Yeah, there we go. Let's just see what diorite looks like running down the middle like this. And if we don't like it, we can always use carpet because lovely carpet exists in the game. We can cover up the blocks underneath, then we can save the more expensive stuff and go for. Um, I keep hearing something walking. I don't know. So if we make this a 3x3 three three going all the way down, how's that going to look? With the orange down the middle? That's kind of gross. I mean, even the granite looks different. Let's see, do we have any wood? We should have some wood. Let's go take a look. Okay, we have spruce. Go ahead and take these spruce here. Let's put some of the stuff back. We don't need all of it anymore. There we go. Just like a thaw. Oh, there's more coal. Yeah, we can put it in there. Um, let's get some spruce. Uh, do we have any more oak? 
I don't think we have any oak. So let's see what spruce looks like right next to the uh, pumpkins. Because wood is definitely something we can use as... Um, yeah, it doesn't really do it either, does it? It's, it's things are just but ugly. And it's not like uh, glowstone is any better. So I guess we're going to have to put together some carpet. Which I think would be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. The, the only problem with carpet is that it washes away when water spills on it. So if we ever have an accident, there's going to be a problem. So right now, we're just going to go through. We're going to replace all this diorite with spruce. We'll save this, the, the white gold, as I'll call it. Um, the only other thing I would consider white gold is white chocolate. And only if it's paired up with uh, another type of chocolate. So let's see here. This this doesn't look too bad. Um, I think we can uh, yeah we can go ahead and use wood all up here and we need to pull this up anyway. go ahead and get this all nicely done all the way up to the end where I have this other slab do 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 and I think this will be a good temporary floor for now let's go ahead grab our sword pick up all the resources one 3d slag two because well um, it's the fastest way to get more cobblestone <laughs> Alright, and I think that's the last one. Is there any way up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I have to come all the way down here? That sucks. Maybe I should start filling this in, huh? There we go. Mm, let's grab the stuff down here, too. Alrighty. And of course, I took the doit. So we'll go ahead and grab that there. All right. Oh, man. This has been one slow morning. I pretty much just wanted to sleep all day. And uh, I realized I can't do that all the time. Because, well, i got to get recording done and all that junk. All right. So we'll grab that and we'll grab this for more slab action just like so and we can pull that down like like that mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. work it there we go now this is a really good start I think I would like jungle wood better. It's got more of a reddish tinge to it. But, uh, we can deal for now. I don't think there's any real major issue with using spruce. It's, it's an abundant tree in the area. And, uh, definitely would be something that I would use if I were, um, to, uh, build a wooden floor. in this place. I think it looks pretty snifty, pretty snazzy. I really like how this is going to turn out. I, I believe this is going to be one awesome uh, hallway. It's nice, it's big, and uh, this pretty much gives us a middle point to work off of, and we can go around and put in our hallway and everything like that. Um, it looks like we're going to have th three thick walls because I don't want to have um, granite just sitting there like that. But we can do stuff um, with different materials on the inside for each of the rooms. Uh, we can make a big long room. Um, 
We could even set it up so that this is where we have our hall of items that goes all the way around the outside. Um, and then on the inside, so like right here, we'd have our hall of items running down this way. And we can put item frames all over the spam them up top, bottom, everything. And just really have a go at making this a pretty awesome place to store all of our items that we find because we are really going to try and get one of every item in the game and uh, I need a place to store them so we can just leave the interior wall unfinished here right right about here and just come around and item frame it all the way up all the way around and with the walls and everything that we put in here it will break it up and give us um, it'll break this up and uh, give us less lag because we're gonna have less um, item frames in view so it's not gonna render every single item frame and cause issues Ah, so this is the plan. This is what we are going to be doing. Hopefully you like the look, the layout, and everything. And what I'm trying to do... There we go. We should hit the water right about now. Yeah. Alrighty, and uh, with that, I think I'm going to call this an episode. Um, I am not the world's most elegant builder. I know, I always say that, I keep saying that. Um, I am not a Corrales, I'm, I'm not even generic B. <laughs> and I'm definitely not a Corrales. He... He takes blocks and he turns them into beauty personified. Uh, I wish I had half the amount of skill that he did. Because then these would probably be a lot more interesting for those watching. Um, he also has that wonderful accent that I lack. I'm just an American kid. Well, not really kid anymore, but I'm just an American dude that enjoys playing games. That's about it. And... I enjoy building things in Lego, and this is pretty close. I'm thinking about getting maybe Lego Worlds or Lego Dimensions or something like that and having fun with that. I will have to see. And, by the way, I just didn't want to leave this unfinished before we called it a day. And pow. Pa -dow. There we go. This is going to be our home. Um, one of the things I was thinking about doing as well is putting in some sort of redstone door here it would it'd be very very simple and unfortunately we got a little bit of a clump up there but uh, I think I think we can do without redstone right now considering the fact that I suck at redstone I mean I can do a couple of things but I'm not a big redstoner alrighty so this is where oh it's going to end literally so let's go ahead and end it and decide there you are well we'll make it two out because that way it does the whole three thing I'm going to put another door if we want Oh, right here. Pow. Alrighty. So, let me get some place where we can see down the entire thing. Yeah, that works. So, uh, I hope you're enjoying the builds. I was going to go adventuring today, but I, um, I got caught up in putting in the floor in this hallway. And I think it's going to turn out very, very, very nice. In the long run, that is. So, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like. It's always very appreciative and uh, shows that I got some support for this series going on. Likes 
always help, especially with the uh, YouTube algorithm and all that. So I get no money for any of these videos. I turn off monetization because I hate ads. And I don't think you guys should have to pay, should have to watch ads to watch gameplay. That's my personal opinion. If you want to support me, you can support me on Patreon. And uh, supporting me on Patreon will help me get things like an Elgato for doing uh, console recording and stuff like that. And uh, improving my recording studio and situation so I can do even more fun things. Anyway, as I, I, I forgot my whole outro. Um, that's how tired I am. And um, how about I just go to bed and we'll call that a day. Um, so, as always, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Minecraft. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And, as always, this is Excalibur. And I am out. <laughs>